Games is the next blood drive hosted by the Optimist Club. Recycling has always been a big Only topic. concern on this cold November morning. As Now, it was just a bit warmer here on the weekend of April 17th as UW-Whitewater's Army ROTC conducted military operation training here at Whitewater's Nature Preserve and behind Pruka Field. ROTC is a four-year program provided at Whitewater where students can gain military experience while earning their degree. Their mission is to commission the future officer leadership in the U.S. Army. This year, ROTC has 40 members who participate in this training four times a year. The majority of the cadets, is, it's focused on the cadets are going to be going to uh, camp this summer, our, our juniors, and uh, it allows them to go through some leadership roles, uh, put them under a little bit more stress, expose them to some different scenarios, and better prepare them for their training this summer. The weekend enabled cadets to partake in tactical training, land navigation, and concealed movement. On April 18th, the cadets had aviation training with some of the state's best pilots while conducting real-world medical evacuation training. But training is not just a one-person job. Intelligence officer Troy Smith says teamwork is key. I think the most value to me would be uh, teamwork. And that's definitely shown here, where if we don't all work together as a team, then we all fail as a team, right? So learning how to, uh, how to, how to develop that correctly and work together has been the best, best thing for me here. ROTC can teach many skills and lessons for cadets, as Commander Rachel Liska says one of the greatest values she has learned while being involved in ROTC is resiliency. I think the greatest value I learned is resiliency. Um, it's really hard. As humans, we have this tendency when things get difficult, we want to quit, we want to stop. And to learn to keep persevering and keep moving forward is, is something that you have to be able to do here. Um, and you have to be able to do that as a leader. So being pushed to, to keep on going when I necessarily didn't want to has been most beneficial for me. ROTC wrapped up their weekend here on the 19th when their families were invited for lunch and they could share with them what they've been learning. Reporting from Whitewater Nature Preserve, I'm Abigail Hankey.